Alrighty, just a quick follow up on my Jay Tolan video from a couple of days ago, uh, where he's trying to cast doubt on the height of Mount San Jacinto uh, based on a wind turbine in the foreground that he says he measured at 150 feet. Uh, someone finally came along, I think it was actually Delboy1967 that originally told him uh, in the video comments, um, but I calculated the height of the turbine to be 220 feet, uh, when the official height is 69 meters, uh, which is actually 226 feet, uh, not 223 feet. Meh. Um, I would have thought that would be the end of it, uh, but no, he has to go out and put out this community post yesterday. Uh, where he's again trying to figure out the height of something big using something small of indeterminate height. Uh, in his video, it was trying to figure out the height of the mountain based on the smaller turbine. Uh, now he's trying to affirm the turbine height based on this uh, little green box, uh, which he has labeled four feet tall with zero evidence whatsoever. Uh, so how big is this green box? Um, so here he's saying that the green box next to the turbine uh, is the same as the green boxes in this inset picture, uh, which seems to be kind of a, a spare parts yard. Uh, and then he scaled that four feet box up to the height of the hub, uh, using the proper mathematics, by the way, which is nice. Uh, and he gets 138 feet. Uh, but obviously all that depends on the little green box being four feet tall. Uh, and more importantly, how he knows that it's four feet tall and he didn't just pull it out of his ass. So I had a bit of a snoop around uh, and I found the exact location he used to get that close up of the three green boxes uh, and the coordinates are there if you wanna go and check it out. Uh, in this image, the, the three green boxes aren't there, uh, but if you zoom in uh, as I've done here, uh, you can actually see these little squares here which match where they are on the street view. Uh, so in this uh, image, you can measure the distance between the Google Street View camera and the green boxes, uh, and that's between 65 and 75 feet. Uh, and you can also measure the distance from the Google car right over to the far edge of the gravel area, which is about 620 feet. Uh, so all I really want you to notice here uh, is that the tip of this green box is really close. Uh, it's only just below uh, the far edge of the gravel area, uh, so we can do a drawing. All right, so across the bottom, we've got the, the distance between the, the Google car camera and the far edge of the gravel area uh, at 620 feet. Uh, there's actually a reasonable slope uh, in the terrain between the road and the far edge. Uh, so we've got 951 feet at the green boxes uh, 954 feet at the Google car, and it drops away uh, over to the edge of the, the gravel area at 931 feet. Uh, now the Google Street View camera is apparently 8.2 feet above the ground. Uh, so we can use all that data uh, to work out a reasonably accurate size uh, for the green box. Uh, and you can slice and dice this in many different ways using geometry. Uh, I'm just gonna use similar triangles. Um, so if we use the triangle made with the Google camera, uh, that is at a height of 31.2 feet above the far edge of the gravel area uh, and 620 feet away. Uh, so if we scale that triangle back uh, by around 70 feet where the green boxes are, uh, then this is the equation. Uh, and that puts the green boxes uh, up 27.68. Uh, feet uh, and now we've got to go under the boxes uh, so we do the triangle made by the the elevation at road level uh, which is only 23 feet above the far edge of the gravel pit uh, still 620 feet away and if we scale that back uh, by around 70 feet back to where the green boxes are uh, then this is the equation uh, so that is 20.4 feet so that is the top of the green box and that is the bottom of the green box uh, so taking the difference in those gives the height of the green box as about 7.28 feet. And that is not four feet. Now, of course you can, you can wiggle things here and there a little bit, uh, like the fact that the, the top of the green box uh, is very slightly below the point in the distance. Uh, you might take a couple of inches off of that. Uh, there are also these um, things surrounding the green boxes. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, but it is entirely possible that when they are placed next to the turbine, 
uh, they're actually possibly sunk below the ground by a little bit. Um, in any cases, um, these boxes are almost certainly between six feet and seven feet high. Um, you can also wiggle the, the elevations, like the uh, elevations above sea level, uh, and get slightly different answers. Uh, you can wiggle the height of the Google camera, um, but you will never get four feet. Right, uh, so what happens when we apply a, a more realistic height of the green box against the turbine? Well, first of all, we need to get an accurate distance to the turbine. Uh, and again, here are the exact coordinates of the spot uh, where that Google uh, Street View image was taken. And you can load those up and, and check for yourself. Uh, so Jay Tolan says these turbines are about 580 feet from the road. Uh, which is true, they are, uh, but he is right in the middle of two of them. Um, so an accurate distance uh, to this turbine, which is the one he's, he's looking at, uh, is about 602 feet. Right, uh, so now instead of, instead of plugging in uh, 4 feet and 580 feet, we're going to plug in 7 feet and 602 feet, and we get this spooky angular size. Um, now this, this formula is interesting. Uh, it's interesting because first of all, it's not it's not a trivial formula. It's not immediately obvious uh, And to me it says that Jay Tolan knows his trig like he's not like Riley that can't even fucking triangle uh, Or Nathan that can't even convert uh, meters into kilometers um, So Jay Tolan is not a stupid flurf uh, And I think that's why I actually target him uh, more than other flurfs uh, Like I used to talk to Mike Boll quite a lot um, because I thought he knew his stuff with his uh, Angles to the Sun series, uh, but my god has he fucked up some simple geometry Anyway, uh, so if we go and plug in seven feet as the height of the green box uh, Then the height of the turbine comes out to be 251 uh, Remember our uh, official height was 226 feet um, If we plug in six and a half feet we get a height of 231 feet uh, which is pretty close to the official height uh, and if we plug in six feet Which I think is the absolute lower limit for the green box uh, Then we get about 212 feet and none of these are near 150 feet obviously uh, But like I said, you can go back and wiggle all the variables to get the height of the green box But you will never get anything close to four feet all Right, so why is the height of the wind turbine so important? Um, well, it's because he's using it to cast doubt on the height of San Jacinto but why is the height of San Jacinto so important? Uh, well, it all goes back to a video I did last year uh, replicating his epic gravity experiment, um, which measured the angles to distant mountains uh, and trying to work out whether those measurements matched a globe or a flat earth. Um, there are actually two videos that I made on that uh, and I'll link them both in the description. Um, Jay Tolan actually dropped by one of those videos and said uh, up top here, uh, secondly, you are using elevation numbers for the terrain that was derived based on a spherical earth model So your results just validate the obvious as expected. So yes, one does equal one Which I thought was a really weird comment uh, as if he was saying all the elevations are fake and that they have some globe earth assumptions built in And that if you took out those assumptions, you'd get the true flat earth elevations um, Oops, so I asked him pretty much straight out um, do you dispute the um, elevations? Uh, and of course he just ran away without answering the questions. Uh, but as it turns out with his latest video, he is disputing the height of the mountains, uh, which is the point of his last video. Uh, because now he knows that if the elevations are correct, uh, then my measurements are correct, and therefore we live on a globe. Uh, so this is why he's fighting so hard and making up so much shit. All right. Uh, he also mentioned two other things in that pinned comment. Uh, apparently, I have a foul mouth, uh, and to that I say, like, grow up, dude. Um, that's that's the weakest excuse I've ever heard to avoid admitting your mistakes. Uh, and secondly, he said, I doubt he understands calculus like he claims. Um, I find that one pretty amusing um, because I actually started a derivatives trading firm. Um, this is not me, obviously. Uh, that's another one of the, the co-founders. Uh, but this is how I made my money, by derivatives. Um, plenty of calculus involved, uh, plenty of integration. Uh, I haven't actually done any in over a decade, um, so I'd be pretty rusty on it. Um, 
but, but when I say I know calculus, I'm, I'm telling you I know calculus. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm sure people are asking why I'm picking on this guy at the moment, uh, and it's fairly simple. Uh, most flurfers are fucking stupid. Uh, they're just your regular garden variety conspiracy theorists, um, but they're ridiculously bad at math and geometry. Uh, Jay Tolan, on the other hand, is not an idiot. Uh, I think I heard somewhere he was a microwave engineer. Um, he definitely knows his trig, uh, and if he knows his trig, he should be easily able to prove to himself the shape of the world. Uh, so the fact that he's here now still trying to refute the height of the mountain and the turbine uh, after the official height has been given at 226 feet uh, and my shadow analysis at 220 feet, uh, and, then, and then this video that I'm doing now, which gives more analysis that uh, puts it in that range as well, uh, kind of makes you wonder sort of just how honest he actually is. Um, not to mention all the other videos I've done on him as well. Uh, there's probably 10 of them now uh, on all these different errors that he's made. Um, so I just don't believe that someone that is obviously intelligent can be a flat earther. And, you know, sorry, other fluffs. Um, so now he's, he's come up with, with this ridiculous theory of gravitational deflections um, because of there's, there's some huge mountain behind him uh, and the extra mass of that mountain apparently changes the local direction of down uh, and that makes his theodolite point down as well uh, and therefore he measures a higher angle to the top of the mountain uh, and therefore calculates a much higher height of the mountain. Um, but I don't think he actually bothered calculating uh, the angle change or this gravity deflection angle uh, that he needs to make the height change from you know, 10,800 feet down to, you know, uh, 6,800 feet. Uh, it's about three degrees. That's massive. Um, you know, Garen fucking tee him that if he measured the angle to Polaris where he was, it will still match his latitude. And that obviously means his gravity deflection thing is bullshit. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm calling you out, Jay Tolan. Uh, show some intellectual honesty. Uh, I think you're lying to yourself about Flat Earth uh, and, and basically your subscribers are too stupid to know the difference.